Welcome to Confessions of an SEO. I'm your host, Carolyn Holzman. This week's confessional is for the SEO and for anyone who, frankly, who's ever minimized or not fully recognized the really cool things that you do that you yourself take for granted. So my question is, what are your superpowers? I was talking with a colleague earlier this week and we were discussing in some ways how to describe what we do as SEO in those moments when we're making a presentation. You know, it might be in a meeting or that quick intro moment, which someday might actually happen in an elevator again. And I found that I usually talk a little bit about on-page, off-page, technical stuff, the testing, and so on. But the idea was how to highlight what we do in a way that helps those who are not in our little SEO worlds to, to get a better feeling and appreciate what's being brought to the table when they meet us or, or work with us. And the outcome from this conversation was twofold. One, I do have a phrase for what I do that checks those boxes. And two, I gained an observation about maybe, maybe, about why it's hard when we work alone. We don't see Uh, what we do in the same way that others do because we're too close. It appears, based on feedback from not only this one colleague but also from from several others, that my specialty can be summed up as forensic FCO, you know, just like in the cop shows. Uh, In in the episode I shared about my first client, I was re-engineering the success of their competitor so that they could take advantage of it. And, and that makes sense because there's nothing I love more than a problem-solving mystery. I look back when I gave my first SEO presentation at SEO Rockstars, and I shared something that I'd stumbled on in the SERPs, that uh, these were stacked Webly sites, or Weebly sites, all linking to each other from the, um, the, the 301 URLs, you know, the, the ones that you can't see because they typically forward over to if you you know set up a domain to be attached to your Weebly. So anyway, I, I, I honestly think that that was probably one of the first sightings about stacking properties because it was only after that by a couple of years that suddenly everybody was talking about stacking properties. The other week I had a colleague uh, ask about you know, ask the question like, why are these guys, why is this website ahead of me for this, for this search term? Oh man, that was all I needed. I got so excited and it was like I was a mountain climber and pulling out all my gear, getting provisions, pulling out maps, getting ready for the journey. 30 minutes later, I saw the whole thing. It was a simple enough fix, a little peek through the lens of hrefs and and I was done. I actually was disappointed it wasn't more involved than it was. It it reminded me of when I broke my foot last summer. It was like right before we were going on this grand outdoor summer holiday and it broke right in the fifth metatarsal less than a week before we were leaving. Oh, I was so disappointed. As I felt horrible, I had x-rays done before I left, and I was advised to find an orthopedic doctor where I was going. So, you know, I follow instructions. So two weeks in the holiday, um, the appointment happened. This doctor sailed into the room, said that he had looked at the x-rays, and basically there was nothing exciting about my foot. It was broken in a place where blood vessels don't uh, go through. And uh, frankly, he went on, if I had spent any time reading about my injury online, that it would be hard to find much information on this particular type of break because 95% of the time it does not require surgery. So nobody basically makes any money off of this break. (laughs) Uh, And in fact, he went on to say, if I was a regular patient of his, he would have told me to wear a boot for two weeks and then see him in six months. Now to me, this news was great. To him, 
He was as disappointed in the dullness of my metatarsal break as I was in the simplicity of the fix of my colleague's problem. So getting back to my colleague's problem, their reaction to this whole thing was like, wow, that's really terrific to watch. And, and some of these were from uh, comments from SEOs whose skills I find magical. It brings me back to my question. Why can't we see our own powers? I think there may be several reasons. And once we rule out, let's say, our own insecurities, we're not going to talk about that. I think the biggest contributor is our solitary work environments. Or, or they seem solitary because we're, we're working with people who don't share our same skill sets. Which is why I am super stoked these days on being in a community of SEOs. I know I've mentioned this before. To be truthful, I kind of feel about what I'm about to say the same way once you find a really great place to go on vacation, you don't want to ruin it by having the whole world know about it. But if you're an SEO and you aren't afraid to introduce yourself and just have conversations with with regular people, you should check out the IMG Internet Marketing Gold. Now, if you know how a bit.ly link works, you know, it's B-I-T dot L-Y and then there's a slash and behind it is usually either it's a series of numbers and letters or you can actually customize it. So if you put at the back of one of those bit.ly links, SEO friends, plural, if you, if you go there, you'll find what I'm talking about. And, and yes, that is an affiliate link because I'm testing to see if a podcast can be monetized. This is the place in there where there's a testing group that I keep telling you about that publishes tests twice a month. You can get access to those findings. And truthfully, the, they've added a lot of training courses in there covering topics and training from novice to expert, which is good. But the real value is in finding your tribe in there. So come to the events. They're all online. Introduce yourself. When you get in there, why don't you try and find me? Type in my names. Just, just say hi, let me introduce you around, and then you take it from there. So here's the question. What's your superpower? I bet you get into some small groups and they will, they'll, they'll tell you. Now go. Okay. Well, that's it for this episode of Confessions of an SEO. This is Carolyn Holzman and I'll see you in the SERPs.